you're walking naked night. Come up next, it's week up they're telling you will look for those uh, late, late, late night owls. Then, type in eggs and the bet and bond. Trust me, doesn't make much sense. But you're walking naked night anyway, so there you go. The current late night guys can't do what you're about to see. Because apparently, you know, oh, what we're doing is important. Really? Really? Week Knob update is coming up right now, and it has the things that you need. Alright, let's go. Maybe I'm crazy, sing for a theme song and everything else. All right, that's Josh Hartman, our spectacular Kevin Strand, Edge, Cassie Dragon, uh, Doctor Blood Studios, and Marvin the Maniac with uh, random stuff. That's five hundred nine. That's Vigilante. We have the gameplay. Sir Slot with the current trailer, but we're not really sure if he's uh, still around. And the Rockets are just moving that program. Now, you have first noticed that uh, the program in you know, like. The programming lineup uh, bumper uh, tonight uh, isn't as uh, snazzy as it was before. You know, uh, you know, here's the thing, okay? Rocky Pro uh, 10, aka Fabrizio Walsh, and I appreciate the feedback that we've been receiving from you uh, in terms of the, uh, the, the programming uh, lineup bumper uh, previews from uh, last week. You know, and, and he would like to uh, do more, but. Whether or not he gets to uh, do more is up to you. You know, please, you know, uh, you know, give us some feedback, whether it's in the comments or on Twitter or even on uh, the polls on uh, YouTube. Right? There's even a poll on YouTube about that. So, whatever it is, you know, please give us some feedback on that, okay? Now, what's up? Rick Chris. What's up with Christina Perry, a woman who sounds like a good singer, or she can be a little too sad sometimes? Can't she just kill up for three lousy seconds? Here's a fun fact about her. Her brother Nick is a guitar player, and he's a guitar player too. Small world, huh? Wow. Do you remember uh, Jar, of, uh, Jar of Hearts song from 11 years ago? Last summer, she released the anniversary version of it. Really? It's a cool stick. She needs to work on new songs. That right there is a real definition of lazy. Serious. And by the way, there are probably a couple of you out there uh, on the program. Uh, you see, actually, there are a few of you out there watching this program this evening. Who are Christina Perry fans, okay? I just want to say for the record, you know what? These are just jokes, all right? These are just jokes, but they got a little bit of uh, truth inside of them, all right? With that being said, MP, Gregors, let's go. Top eight list time. Let's go. Come on. Category for tonight's dance. Tonight's category Top 8 Unknown Christina Perry Song. Number 8, Donkeys. Number 7, Find Love. Number 6, Swinging Out. Number 5, Bouncing Away. Number 4, Jumping with the Kangaroos. Number 3, Flying Out. Number 2, Jumping In. And number 1, I Found You. Wait. Huh? Wait. Huh? Huh? That's my line. Wait, what? Yeah. Boy, stop fighting. Man. Oh, boys, don't behave. Thank you. We'll be right back. Get your card. We found it. Now, here it is. You're from the night.
morning. Good morning, Thomas. <laughs> what a beautiful... What the talking bird? You can't escape us. You wouldn't by any chance be thinking of buying your carpeting from somebody other than Empire, would you? You're going to deliberately pay more money and wait longer for the same carpet you can get in one day from Empire? Don't do that. Our prices still start at $6.95 installed with padding. You don't make a payment for 90 days and we deliver in one day. So go to the phone right now and on the count of three, dial Empire, okay? One, two, three. Five, eight, eight, two, three, hundred, Empire. Scott and the boys. How are you doing tonight, Ed? I'm doing fine. How about yourself? Well, I'm glad that, you know, uh, we are in a new week and that everything is uh, going to be all right and that spring is, uh, has sprung. Oh, yes, yes. Spring is beautiful. Yeah. You know, I got to uh, do this uh, thing right now, okay? All right, all right. Now, folks, it's time for a very serious moment for everyone. This concerns... You know, about all the things uh, that have been taking place over the weekend, you know, uh, I understand that, you know, uh, we should be mad at all the people who have been doing wrong lately, you know, in terms of uh, the shootings and everything else. But at the end of the day, look, all right, we got to understand that, you know, the only way that we can resolve any of uh, any of the, uh, the situations that we have been facing is if we can all get together and if we can all get along with one another. Now, it's going to be pretty tough, especially considering uh, the circumstances that we currently have, or under the circumstances that we are. Uh, we are in or whatever, but we can't lose hope yet. You just can't. All right. You know, just let's just you know keep on helping others. You know, keep doing the right things. And if you see something weird, say something. Now, now that I've uh, now that I've taken care of that. Let's get back into some comedy, and more importantly. Let's get back into the talking. Let's talk about it. Let's go. Come on now. Let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about Christina Perry right now. Alright, you know, a lot of people know her as a singer songwriter who, let's be honest, you know, hasn't uh, really done anything since, uh, you know, like Jar of Hearts uh, came out. Even then, you know, she has been through a lot of uh, rough times, you know. We're not going to go uh, too much uh, into that because we don't want, you know, this uh, show to get, uh, you know, uh, too emotional. You know what, we dealt with the one emotional thing uh, in this program tonight already. We don't need any more drama, alright? We don't need any more, uh, you know, uh, emotional uh, things, alright? Anyway, you know, here's what's interesting, alright? You know what, uh, she's the youngest uh, person in her family, alright? And her brother Nick Perry is also a guitar player. Yeah, he is a guitar player. 
Now, she is also a guitar player. And again, most of you are aware of that through her music. Of course, uh, she taught herself how to play the guitar. Now, that is uh, very uh, interesting. Now, you see, I myself uh, play piano, and uh, you know, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty interesting, you know, uh, I play piano by ear, you know, I uh, play uh, songs by ear and things like that. You know, and I learn uh, how to play piano uh, that way. Of course, people would say, you know, why don't you learn how to do scales and uh, things like that? And I'm like, well, once you do, uh, once you start uh, with the do re mis and things like that, that's, uh, that's how you get started with everything else. But to be a self-taught uh, musician, a self-taught musician, that right there is something to, to be proud of, to be self-taught. Well, then again, uh, education, of course, is, well, or at least the majority of it, anyway, is independent learning, so. And it says here that Christina Perry was into uh, musical theater. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, wait a minute. Did she want to uh, be in musicals, or does she want to be uh, the person who uh, gives uh, musicals uh, the music? I mean, seriously. You know, uh, come on. You can't uh, have it both ways. I mean, come on. Now, Christina Perry also did, you know, an anniversary uh, edition of, I mean, an anniversary version of Jar of Hearts. Actually, uh, we are now uh, heading into the 11th anniversary of uh, Jar of Hearts, but Christina Perry last year did an acoustic version of Jar of Hearts. You know, of course, how can it be uh, acoustic when uh, you know when her original song was already uh, stripped down anyway? You know, with just the uh, pianos and a couple strings, you know, no drums and things like that. You know, I mean, come on. And plus, here's what's up, okay? You know what? She got a deal with Atlantic Records, and I'm pretty sure that deal has been much expired. You know, Joe of Hearts, uh, number 17 on the Billboard Hot 100 list, and sold 5 million copies. And I'm like, really? I, I think that, uh, we have seen songs that are a lot bigger than that, okay? I mean, well, Christina Perry said on that, that 10th anniversary, uh, happy 10 year anniversary to my baby Joe of Hearts. Well, well, Wild ride it has been. And all the special day here is an acoustic version of the song that I recorded at home. I'm so grateful for all the love and support I received from day one. I catapulted into the stars on that day, and I've never come down to it. Thank you for this life. Well, you're welcome, Christina Perry, but here's the thing, though, okay? You know, that thing is, of course... <laughs> Nobody just uh, record one song and then just disappear from the face of the earth. Let alone, you know what, you have only recorded two songs and after that nobody's really heard from you since. Time for you to get back to work. Get back to work. Now that is the show for tonight. Tomorrow, man, we have a big week uh, coming up. Tomorrow night, Zach F1 will be our big topic. Then on Wednesday, tomorrow we even. And on Thursday, Sam Walkwell, and on Friday, Liza Poshi, and we're going to have some sketches from the yeah, Pablo 9, the man on Gaffey, Rebecca Kane, and Nancy Fetch, Swagger Watt, Dex on TGB, A Studios, Dan, Dr. Andrew Fitchell, Huggable, and aka Fabrice LaRoche, you know, an appearance by uh, Plumber Kid to Exclamation Mark, and hopefully, knock on wood, another uh, appearance uh, from uh, Henry Ward, aka Thunder Bear Productions. It's going to be an astounding program. Actually, it's going to be one. It's going to be the biggest week ever. That's the news. Mouthy, throw a wiper wall. Hello out there from TV land. A beautiful.